The topic today is the sketch driven pattern, which is a type of pattern you would find when you click on this arrow. Um, on the linear pattern, you find it in this menu. It's not a really common pattern, at least not amongst intermediates. The more, uh, the higher you go, uh, and maybe the more you use it. Over here, I have prepared uh, a component, which looks like an Nike model. And I have created two hexagonal holes into this solid body that we have. And the idea is to use the sketch driven pattern to fill the whole area of this Nike logo with these hexagonals. And I'm going to show you how to do so. First thing first, you need to know a sketch driven pattern, just like its name, works with a sketch. So you need to have a sketch. And when I say sketch, in this case, I'm talking only points. You cannot just draw a line and uh, expect that the sketch driven pattern would create duplicate of your feature and follows on that path. No, you need to draw points. So let me demonstrate. First thing first, I want to draw on this surface. So I will click on it and from this pop up menu, I will show, I will, I will select sketch and make it normal to the screen like this. Now, where, wherever I place a point, and later on use a sketch driven pattern, that point would turn into the feature that I'm gonna pattern. So in this case, that point would turn into one of these hexagonals um, cuts. So at the moment, I don't need, I don't, sorry, at the moment, I don't know where my points are gonna be, but one thing that I know is that these two points are gonna be at the center of these two hexagonals. So in order to put the points exactly in the middle of these uh, hexagons, I'm going to use a center line to connect these two points together. Also over here, it doesn't matter which two points, but they should be in front of each other. And now I can place two points on the midpoint of these center lines. Now I can just simply get rid of these center lines. No use for them anymore. And I have my first two initial points. All is left for me to do is to use a linear sketch pattern to fill up this logo with these points with the right uh, distance. So I would use linear sketch pattern, set the entities to pattern, uh, pick these two points. I have previously calculated the values in the X and Y axis. It's going to be 9.66 in case you're using the millimeter system, the metric system. Otherwise, uh, you can just ignore the uh, unit and go ahead with it. Vertical value is 16.73. So in the next step, I'm just gonna increase the number of instances. So the number of points would reach out the end level of the logo. Uh, that should be fine, just for the safety and in the vertical direction as well too much i click okay so we have created so many points 37 to be exact but the whole logo is not covered this area on the left on the back of the logo is not covered so we want to move our points a little bit to the left a little bit down so the whole logo would fall into this point field and just highlight all the points and go to move entities which is located in the sketch tab that allows you to move these sketches um, without applying any changes to this sketch so set it on default it's set to front two we don't want to work this way we want to set it to x y and move it uh, two times to the left so we said the horizontal value was 9.66 so minus 9.66 because we want to go to the left I can repeat it one more time, and um, maybe one more time. Now, this is good, and we wanna go down, minus 16.73, that's fine. Uh, you can click okay. You can clearly see that the whole logo is now underneath this field of points, and we can go ahead and rebuild our sketch. Thank you, Tony. Tony's watching very carefully. Go, good. Now, we're going to use the sketch driven pattern as promised in the beginning of this video. Pick it up. First thing you need to pick is your sketch. 
in this case the points so we will pick them and now all I have to do is to pick what feature it is that I would like to pattern and this happens to be these two extruded cuts it's a little bit overwhelming and when I click OK it might take a few seconds depending on the computer you're running your SOLIDWORKS on and the computing power you have it takes longer or shorter so before I get my final result I will get this pop-up um, message bodies to keep and this is what you get whenever you cut your solid bodies into two or more uh, solid bodies so if you pay attention to what happens to this thin part of the logo it gets cut and you have some islands and each one of these islands is considered a solid body so you have more than one in this case I want to keep all of them and just, just click OK I can just hide my sketch and that's my Honeycomb Nike logo just like any other feature in SOLIDWORKS this is not the only way to do this you could have actually uh, used a linear sketch linear pattern to create duplicates of your hexagons sketch and do one simple extruded cut and get the same results but in order to uh, make an example of the sketch driven pattern I just did this so that was it um, it was quite short I would say but mm, not that short we waited a couple of minutes and we are at 14 I can give you one more tip now that we are under the 15 minutes time all right so who here knows how to work with the geometry pattern or what is geometry pattern i'm just going to prepare my next component and meanwhile you can just leave a comment let me know who knows what as a tip, geometry pattern is an option that you get in the property manager of your features patterns, regardless of the type. All of them have that. Tony, do you know what geometry pattern is? Yoga, do you know? Thank you, Ali. Good. So let me just change the view to show hidden lines visible. You're welcome. So look at this part. I have made the hidden lines uh, visible, and now you see what happens inside this component. I have created a hole and it goes all the way up to the surface and it stops with a value of I don't remember what value I defined it was five okay so it stops um, five millimeters before it reaches the top surface so we have an offset now see what happens if I try to create a pattern out of this first I need to define a direction I will pick this straight edge on the side of the component and as the end reference let's just pick this point we need let's just say three of them that's fine or more than that let's just say six that's fine and scroll down the property manager tab okay you don't know how the geometry pattern works this is the geometry pattern by the way this is the geometry pattern but before I check or uncheck it I'm gonna switch from partial preview to full preview to see what happens so extruded cuts when the pr full preview doesn't show anything there is something wrong and we need to fix it before we can go ahead with this example let's just say if it's 10 put it 5 number 2 okay 3 4 5 oh there is no 5 3 3 4 5 yeah so let's look at it this way I'm gonna click OK see what happened the initial cut was stopped with an offset value of 5 from this surface that goes all the way from here to here 
And now when I un left the geometry pattern unchecked in the property manager of my linear pattern, the second, third, and the fourth duplication of the first initial cut are also following this initial rule that I applied, which is to be stopped with an offset value of five from the surface. Now, if I go ahead and actually check geometry pattern, the, it actually duplicates this geometry that I have created and kind of overrides this initial rule that I have applied. So it ignores this offset value to the surface. So look at this. This one, the last one, is actually cutting through the surface completely, and this is cutting partially through the surface. This is the difference in the final end result of your pattern. Now, this is, the, this is what you see, but this is not where the difference stops. If I uncheck the geometry pattern and go ahead and click OK, and go to the Evaluate tab and pick Performance Evaluation, which is a tool that allows you to know which of the these features that you have used in your feature tree so far are taking the most amount of time when you rebuild your, uh, when you rebuild your model. So in this case, if I go ahead and edit one of these features in the feature tree and rebuild it, the linear pattern that I just the linear pattern that I just created takes about 51% of the time, the rebuilding time. Okay? In this case, it is 0 0.02 seconds because it's a very small model and I only have three features. But if it were, if it was a more complicated component with let's just say 100 features in my feature tree that would have been maybe minutes so you don't want to have that not necessarily let's just go ahead edit this feature and this time check geometry pattern and click ok and repeat this performance evaluation now we see the linear pattern from 51 percent went down to zero percent it doesn't literally doesn't take any time anymore now I know, again, these times are very small, but it's relative. So whenever checking or unchecking the geometry pattern does not make a difference in your end result, make sure to check it. When, does it, when doesn't it make any um, difference? I will show you in a second. If I edit my original solid body, get rid of this weird odd shaped surface and just make a straight line. Bring this up, I can move it faster, like this, and create a hole like that. Go to the features, through the cut, set it to offset from surface, and we set five, and I click OK. Now we have this, and if I go to linear pattern, try to pattern this like that. I guess you know where I'm going with this, but look, since the end surface is flat, if I check or uncheck the geometry pattern, the results wouldn't change. So in this case, you definitely want to have the geometry pattern checked. Okay. So any questions? If not, I'm going to end this session right here. And let me know if it was uh, productive, good, and if I should schedule another one. And if yes, what time of the week, what hour of the day would work best? I guess I'm Ryan and I approve this message. Something Ray William Johnson used to say on his channel. Tony, you don't know. I think your comment just arrived really, really late. But I hope you know now because this video is um, done. Anybody else? Good, good. All right. All right, guys. Wish you a nice evening if where you are is evening otherwise have a nice day yes you can replay this video joseph i think it will be on my channel um if not i will make sure that this video goes on my channel don't worry good take care see you next time